Welcome to the land of Ish, part two of our series on assemblage art, making new art out of old objects and items found around the home, at thrift stores, or out in nature. We are also covering upcycle, which is a modern term for taking uh, items that were meant to be recycled or thrown away and making new art from them. The term assemblage has been around for a long time. I highly recommend you take a look at artists like Marcel Duchamp and Joseph Cornell, Louise Nevelson, who made art using uh, pieces of wood, which she would paint in a monochrome or a single color. And she made very large pieces, which you can find in museums around the country. Um, also, one of my favorite artists, Betty Saar. She is an artist who used assemblage and uh, she still lives today and is still creating art. And uh, she likes to uh, infuse some social commentary into her work. And I highly recommend you Google Betty Saar and take a look at her wonderful body of work. Now, um, we're gonna talk about the details of the many ways that you can make art with found objects. Really, uh, it's you can take it anywhere, you can use anything. And remember from my last video that I had painted this coconut seed and uh, I still haven't figured out what I want to do with it, but it's kind of fun to have around um, so I can think about it and create with it. So the next thing I would like to share with you is some of my own work. I like to work in a combination of natural materials and materials uh, that I find at thrift stores or that I just simply have around the house. And really, if you'd like to get started on making assemblage art, the best things to have around are the basics, glue, some wood, and a little bit of paint. But if you don't have those things, just get creative and make stuff from whatever you have around. So let's talk about the details on how you can begin making art from found objects. Um, you really only need the basics, some glue, um, perhaps some wood, or you can look around and see if you have old shoe boxes. Remember making dioramas in school? A diorama is a shoe box where you include all the things that you've found and collected inside the shoe box and you can create something abstract or you can create a scene. Um, Joseph Cornell was very good at making dioramas and he made some really interesting ones. And so really all you need are the materials that are around you, things that you don't mind putting into an artistic kind of form, whether it's something you hang on the wall or a sculpture that you keep on your desk or keep in your room. So I'm going to begin too by sharing some of the work that I've done. I really like to work with natural things that I find on my walks and I, and I also like to use paint and I like to have some wood glue in my, in my cabinet to glue things together. So here are a few pieces that I have done. This is a piece that I made out of birch wood from a tree that I had pruned in my backyard. It features the handle from a hose bib and a few items that I picked up at a local thrift shop. And this one features more handles from hose bibs that I spray painted red, as well as more wood and corks that I upcycled and colorful wire that I upcycled. And this last one, I also used birch wood washers that I spray painted, wire, and a piece of wood that I cut up and hammered back together to make the frame. Thank you for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw, and I hope that you too will get busy making assemblage art and upcycling some of the items that you have meant to throw away. Perhaps they have a second life. And please do go to my website and share with me what you have done in this area of creating art with found objects. I hope you enjoy it and 
I'd love to hear what you've created and I'd love to hear from you. So go to my website and see you next time.